The withered stalk flowers again. It is good to see you, alive and well. We found you floating in the water. I'd seen corpses with more life in them, but Captain Killeen dove in and fished you out anyway. The captain of this vessel. She's currently ashore, recruiting for our latest contract. You might want to pay your respects, seeing as she saved your life. The withered stalk flowers again. It is good to see you, alive and well. You're on the spearhead, Captain Killeen's ship. I am one of Captain Colleen's few remaining loyal crew members. The rest, well, the less said of those bloody-minded mutineers, the better. this island, Colleen. I should be in Betnik, visiting my people. Think, Lamor. How will we get there without a crew? Look at that, Lambor. Our half-drowned friend is up and about. We weren't sure you'd make it. Really? I just fished you out of the water. Master Kassan got you breathing again. The important thing is you're alive. But if you're feeling grateful, I could use some help. A job. Anyone who helps is going to get rich. Right now, I need a fresh face. Someone this island's butcher in charge, Hedman Bosek, doesn't know and won't stop. Basically, you recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. Interested? The three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. Naramo's nice enough for an Altmer if you get past his Dwemer fixation. Thing is, the relics he finds in Dwemer ruins sometimes come in very handy. He just might have a device we can use for our heist. He's a thief, but he's the best there is. He'd be a big help in the heist I have planned. Problem is, he robbed Bosek. Nobody robs Bosek. He's been tossed into the grave under Bosek's palace. She's an old friend, captain of the Maiden's Breath. She's also a master of disguise. We can use that. The Sea Drakes use their lighthouse tricks to run her ship aground near Saintsport. Rescue her, and she might join us. There's a Dwemer ruin outside town, Bithzark. Naramo went there to dig up relics, help him find some, and he might just join us. Bloody Bosek, or Headman Bosek, as he calls himself now. He took over the palace years ago killed the old ruler and took his place. Captain Helene, but she's worse than Bosek. Her sea drakes run Saint's Port south of here, biggest ban of murderers on the sea. Bosek and Helene tolerate each other. Neither's ready for a war, yet. Deserted, the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton galleons. Thing is, King Farharajad called for an end to it now that we're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, as a loyal Red Guard, I obeyed. If by disagreed you mean tried to kill us, then yes. Bunch of bloody mutineers. Lambor, myself, and a few others ran them off the ship, but word spread. No one here wants to sail with a captain who won't raid Bretons. The Screaming Mermaid's just up the road, and they've always got good rum. Just keep a grip on your coin purse, or you'll be a beggar by day's end. Bosex thugs the bloody fists. Cross one, you cross them all, and Bosek will have your head on a pike faster than you can say, Please, don't put my head on a pike! Also, the Sea Drakes will gut you if you enter Saint's Port. The crystals are the key. The door itself would easily open if I could only... Hello? I hope you're not planning to rob me. I've nothing of value, and you might not like being incinerated. I regret I must complete my work here before entertaining additional opportunities. 
I must find a way inside Bitsark. Miraculous. To think that the Dwemer of old Volenfell settled as far as Stros Mackay. My brother and I have scoured the ruins exterior for some time now, but we have never been able to get inside. Several reasons. One is that Hedman Bosek commissioned me to explore the ruins. A fascinating aspect of Dwemma ruins are the ancient mechanisms to be found inside. Bosek thinks to use them in Port Hundig. I need to get inside to investigate. An excellent suggestion. I believe this automaton can unseal the door, if it can be controlled. I have its control rod, but two focusing crystals seem to be missing. They are nearby, but the local creatures dissuade me from claiming them. With the focusing crystals in hand, I can complete this control rod and safely reactivate the automaton. While you recover the crystals, I'll make the proper adjustments to the construct. Some call them dwarves. A race of brilliant artisans and metal workers who possessed great ingenuity. They built vast underground cities filled with remarkable inventions. Now such works are all that remain of the Dwemer. None can say for sure. Some believe they achieved divinity. Others claim they were consumed by some folly of their own. Perhaps both are true. But long ago they vanished, the entire race, leaving little but their marvelous treasures behind. Dim the gleam of avarice I see in your eyes. The treasure I seek is knowledge, worthless to any but a scholar. Those who help me acquire this can expect to be well rewarded, however. I've reassembled a spider, but I must be able to control it. That reminds me, did you find the crystals? Splendid. Now, I just insert them into the rod like so. By the way, I hope you can destroy this mechanism if it attacks us. It works! I knew it would, of course. Into the tunnel you go! Now to get that door open! At long last! Bizarre! Come, we'll talk of our next move inside! As you see, Headman Bosek's trust in my skills was not misplaced. Nor was my faith in your prowess. Will you assist me on another task? Despite the age of these ruins, I suspect the usual defenses are in place. As I am averse to danger, would you explore the ruins to locate any Dwemer generators inside? Oh, I suppose I'm the only one who calls them that. Independently apportioning Dynamo Core is a mouthful, but the Dwemer built them to last for generations. I say generators to honor their enduring nature. This control rod will keep our new friend loyal to you. I suspect the generators have been damaged over the years. You'll need to escort the spider to each and bid it to repair them.
Excellent work. But Sark breathes again. Now for a personal project. How would you like to earn a little more coin? As you see, we are not the first to enter Bethsark. In truth, I accepted Bosek's request to explore these ruins only because they contain something I want. Something I believe others died trying to obtain. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. The Dwemer guarded their secrets as a king protects his gold. In Bethsark, the Dwemer hid a set of schematics, mechanical drawings that I greatly desire to possess. An easy task. Those earlier explorers likely retrieved them, only to find themselves sealed inside Bethsark through some treachery. Their misfortune is my, our, gain. We must find where they perished. There may be more constructs waiting on the other side of this door. You go first. I doubt they escaped. These writings could prove crucial to understanding the schematics. My brother should be able to decipher these. Interesting. Continue looking for the schematics. I'll meet up with you shortly. There you are. I was just coming to, uh, help you. I hope you found what we were looking for. The schematics are mine at last. Splendid! This places me in your debt. What would you ask of me in return? I hear Killeen intends to head towards the Isle of Betnik. The ruins there greatly interest me. But first, I will assist you in this heist. I must get the schematics to my workshop. Join me if you wish to return to town. Come, Clanker. Dakan is innocent. Edmund Bosek threw my sweet Jakan into the grave. No, no. The grave is the prison in that cave ahead. Jakan described it as a ghastly place. Traps block the exit, and most criminals roam freely inside. Bosek accused him of stealing a gem, and this orc monster threw him in. Gods know he's rich. He's a prince from Glenumbra. He promised to whisk me away from my family and make me his princess. But now he's going to die in the grave, while I'm forced to return home. The Khan said the gate in the cave is never locked, because no one ever makes it past the traps. It's beneath the palace, and anyone thrown in dies there. Jakan said the guards are brutal, and the other prisoners are worse. Traps, guards, and other prisoners prevent that. Jakan said there are rows and rows of traps, and everyone down there, except for Jakan, is a vicious murderer. No one's ever gotten out. My poor Jakarn. Yes, from Westry. How I longed to travel there with him. He described it as bright, beautiful, 
and full of life. Disgusting. Uncultured. Devious. His guards are criminals, and his laws benefit only himself. I pray to Ariel that the sea rises up and swallows this pit, but only after Dukan and I are long gone. Yes, from Westry. How I long to travel there with him. He described it as bright, beautiful, and full of life. What kind of a question is that? My true love has been cast into a dark pit to die. If I thought I could get past the traps, I would go in after him. I can always buy another dress. Elves. That's what the headman claims. That's what got him thrown into the grave. You mocking me? The headman makes the laws. It's my job to punish anyone who breaks them. Now beat it before I toss you in the grave. Guard. Get me out of here, please. Irian? Altmer girl? Yeah, I promised her a way off this rock. But that won't ever happen if I die in here. Is that really important right now? Bosek stole it from somewhere else. Can't steal from a thief. If you get me out of this, I'll owe you big. I owe you for this. Thanks. Now, let's get out of here. Well? You first. Side exit. That way we can both keep our heads. Thanks for breaking me out back there. Listen, while you're in a heroic mood, want to help me get something I left with the goblins? I figure if you want something kept safe, give it to the goblins. They'll watch it for free, they're too stupid to trade it, and they'll kill anyone who tries to take it. Here's the thing, you went through a lot of trouble to free me, right? There's no way you'll let me get eaten by goblins, so you, my good friend, will follow me to their mine. Yeah? This way. you at the door.
I unlocked the door. Now we can retrieve my gem. I'll see you inside. It's as pretty as a thing can be, and as big as my two fists. They store everything on the upper level. You're not keeping score. This is the part where I trust you. I'll kill the goblins in the scaffolding in the next room. You grab the gem. It's in a chest on the floor. There's a passage on the far side. Take that and meet me outside. If something goes wrong, regroup at the inn in town. Over here. I have a question for you. What were you doing in the mine? And did you see a scummy Breton up there? Yakarn. He's a liar and a thief. He stole a gem from headman Bosek. Now if the gem came back, Bosek might let him live. Can you help me, or not? Now that's just too bad. If you do run into him again, tell him that if we catch him, he's dead. That bastard! If you're looking for that bastard Jakan, he's at the tavern with a Red God girl. I overheard him telling a Red God girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel, that he was a ship captain. She swooned like a fool, like I did. I'd tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island! Hey there. Glad to see you made it out. Hey now, the headman stole it first. And you brought it back to me, didn't you? Thanks, good looking. Seeing as it's you asking, sure. If she's planning a job, I'm in. All I ask is a trip off this rock after it's over. You! Hey, you! Hey there. Need any help? <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find you. You move around. I'm Nicoline. I work for Captain Colleen. She sent me to find you, see if you'd had any luck recruiting for our heist. Looks like you're already making new friends. Then listen, just so you know, we're set up in a hideout near the docks. Come find us when you finish recruiting. Look for Lambour outside the door. There's three folks Captain Colleen wants to help with her heist. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. She told me about them. Who do you want to know about? She's in Sainsport. The Sea Drakes lured her ship onto the rocks. Those bastards really know how to ruin your day. It's south of Port Hunding. Look for the big lighthouse. Help me. They're after me. The sea drakes. When it gets foggy, like last night, they play tricks with the lighthouse. Lure ships aground. The Maiden's Breath, my ship, they lured us in and wrecked us. Drowned or captured. Captain Larissa's looking for them. You heard of crafty Larissa, right? Anyway, I'm through. No more sailing for me. You want to find the captain? Just look for her monkey, Howler.
Wow. You aren't at all what I was expecting. Let's talk. What brings you to this trash pit? Sneak up on you? It's what I do. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? Oh, charming. The maiden's wrecked on the sandy shore. As for crafty Larissa, you found her. Just in time, too. Captain Helene's sea drakes have my crew. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue them, and I'll owe you a favor. We're going to disguise my crew as sea drakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour red guard, and a big orc. The drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Look for hampers with clothes, or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drunk. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. Remember, you can take clothes from hampers or off-dead sea drakes. Choke and die, Sea Drake. I'll spit on your grave. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The Sea Drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. These Sea Drakes give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Uh, please, don't beat me again! Thank the Eight! I thought I'd die in here! Helene came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public flaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time! She's one cold witch! Stay away from Helene. She's a monster! If you're going to kill me, get it over with. Ha. Another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. I'll chance it and make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. If you can't get away, die fighting. You're a welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Herdin, and Meekog. Any luck? Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Deragor. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Deragor down and back. I'll be visiting Helene in her cabin to thank her for the hospitality she's extended my crew. Come on up after you release Deragor. You should really say hello. Her cabin girl had a key. Poor little Bosmer lass. Barely any meat on her bones. I think Helene was starving her. She's on her way to Port Hunding now, and I'm one key richer. Good trick, that. Did I really disguise myself as a fern? Or did you see a fern because you weren't looking close enough?
I'm not telling you anything, scum! What have you done with Captain Larissa? Yeah? Ha! I knew she got away! Helene said she was being keel-hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my Captain Crafty for nothing. Get me out of these ropes, and let's get out of here. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Did you poison oh, me? My captain, are you feeling okay? I'll gut you like a stuck pig. Cut your eyes out. Roast you. Like you did my crew? No. Ah. That won't happen again. Oh, she fell down. My, that felt good. Me? Did I do that? Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Daragor get out? I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. Oh, it's Yarn Root. A very nasty local poison. It won't kill her. Not right away. It starts by dissolving the stomach lining, then goes from there. I'd love to stay and watch, but no time. You can stay if you like. It's actually her poison, kept for slaves who disobey. There's an antidote on the dresser if your heart bleeds enough. I'd feel mildly disappointed, but I leave it up to you. Meet me on the beach once you're done here and we'll settle up. Just watch your boots. She'll start vomiting soon. My crew's safe, and only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Well, your choice. I hope the next crew she shipwrecks and murders appreciates your soft heart. The important thing is she knows I had her. She won't cross me again. Now, about our debt. What do I owe you? Uh, she's a bit too obsessed with old Faharajad for me, but I like her style. Seeing as I need a new ship, gold will come in handy. I'm in. Can't let what you did for us go unrewarded. See you back in town. I may have only five working fingers, but that's enough to hold a mug. I thought we were all dead. You and the captain got us out, but it was damn close. I thought they were all dead. Glad to find it isn't so. I told you to get out. Glad you ignored me. <laughs> 